Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where it has come to the end of our trip here to the United Arab Emirates. We've had a brilliant time, haven't we, Charlotte? It has been amazing. I've loved every single second of it. And we're ending our visit to a trip to Madame Tussauds Dubai. We are indeed. It's located on Blue Waters Island. We're just down here now on the beautiful beach. And you can see behind us the island itself. You've actually got AIM Dubai, which is the big wheel on there. That hasn't operated for nearly two years now. Some sort of structural issues, but you've got lots of different restaurants, attractions and Madame Tussauds that's located over on Blue Waters Island and it's beautiful down here on the beach isn't it? Oh it's so nice down here. So we're going to take a stroll over from the beach over the bridge and we're going to check out Madame Tussauds. The beach area here is gorgeous, it really is. And yeah, you can see the palm just over there, Palm Jumeirah, and Atlantis Aquaventure is over there in the distance. In fact, you can just see that big hotel off to the right and Atlantis kind of creeping out there on the left over at the Aquaventure Water Park. And yeah, we did visit there last week. So make sure you check out the vlog on the channel. And of course, this is our final vlog of the trip here on Theme Park Worldwide. But over on our second channel, the Sandbrook Adventures, we still got quite a few more vlogs to share with you all. So make sure you head over there, checking out different tourist attractions and so much more. Just taking in a lot of what Dubai has to offer because it really is an incredible place. So yeah, we're walking over the bridge that you can see just there. And we're going to go and check it out. We're actually in our final hotel for just a few nights down here. So we've just walked. It took about 20 minutes to get to the beach uh, and then about another 10 minutes or so uh, over to the Blue Waters Island where the big wheel is. But yeah, it's a shame that it's closed. It's actually the world's largest Ferris wheel. It's over 800 foot tall, that is. And yeah, that also opened back in 2021 and hasn't operated for nearly two years. I think it was March uh, 2022 when it last operated. So yeah, it's got some sort of major structural issues unfortunately so hopefully they can get it sorted out it's still lit up at night though which does look really pretty wow look at that beautiful yacht coming in down there stunning isn't it and yeah this bridge is actually a lot bigger than you realize never been over here before to blue waters island so i didn't have any idea like how long the walk was going to be down from the beach but actually it's quite a way you got to give yourself time to walk over here if you booked them for a slot but this is beautiful look at this view it does remind me a little bit of the Gold Coast actually in Australia when I was there last year. It does with all the hotels as well. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And you can just see over in the distance the Seven Star Hotel, the Burj Al Arab. Just over there as well. And this is the thing, it's so clean over here. Look at this guy. He's like mopping it up. He doesn't even look dirty, but he's going for it. It took about 10 minutes then to walk from the beach over here onto the island itself. Lots of different restaurants down here, a couple of hotels by the looks of it. And yeah, you can come and park over here on the island itself. Yeah, it's paid parking. And you've also got paid parking. What's that? Oh my God, look at that. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, they've also got paid parking down by the beach as well. But we thought we'd have stayed nearby. We may as well walk or we could have got an electric scooter like them. All these little pods down here. They look a little bit like the gondolas up there on the wheel, don't they? Yeah, I really hope that's back in action soon because it looks really pretty at night. We did come to see a drone show down here actually and that'll be coming up over on our second channel. And here you can see the wheel all lit up at night. Just got to try and find Madame Tussauds now, somewhere down here. I think you might be on the lower level underneath the wheel. Similar kind of setup to uh, like Icon Park in a weird way in Orlando. How you've got the wheel and then some Merlin attractions. Merlin don't have anything to do with the wheel though. Not at this moment in time anyway, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe in the future course with Merlin having their experience it could be the Dubai Eye. In fact I'm sure when it was built it was being branded as the Dubai Eye. Yeah unless I'm making that up I don't think I am though I'm sure it was. Maybe there was some sort of copyright thing with Merlin there. Just come down the escalator and we're following in the directions to Madame Tussauds and the boardwalk which is down in this direction. Just keep walking down in a straight line and we're right underneath. Aim Dubai just here now. The world's largest observation wheel almost double the height of the London Eye, this. <laughs> Massive. You can see scaffolding there working on the middle. Very interesting, yeah, some sort of structural issues. And yeah, you can see that. It looks like they're working like on all the wires, you know, that come out to the edge. Fascinating to see. And yeah, we nearly walked right past Madame Tussauds. It's actually located inside the wharf just here at Blue Waters, you can just about make out the sign in there. We was going to carry straight on, but you've got to go in here. I saw the star and I was like, it's inside. <laughs> so yeah, let's go and uh, make our way in. And here's a look at the exterior of the building just here. Yeah, very nice and glitzy. As you can see from the sign, it's all shiny. And you've got some more shops 
inside here soon. Let's go in. And here we are then inside. It's just over 12 o'clock. And we'd just like to say thank you to Madame Tussauds for providing us with our mission here today. Looks like we start off with a photo opportunity. Always love the theme of these Merlin attractions. Hello. <laughs> photo opportunity with the taxi just there. Nice camel over here. So we're going to jump in the elevator now. Which is going to take us one level up. Now what's always interesting is when you go to Madame Tussauds abroad, who are we going to know? Like inside know. there, yeah. Who are we going to know? <laughs> I've had this before, like when I've done them in places. Oh my god, there we go. We didn't press the button, did we? <laughs> I'd help, wouldn't it? And so, yeah, we're going to know. I think there's a lot of Bollywood stars in here. We're going to be walking around and going, like, who is this person? But we'll try our we'll best. We'll find out along the way. I reckon they'll have, like, some of the mega world famous people in here as well. Well, that's all Lady Gaga as we walked in. Yeah, a lot of, like, pop stars and sort of kind of the same around the world, aren't they, they are, really? Yeah. You know, I hear a lot of, like, British and American artists over here. I just like seeing all the theming, you know, and at the end of the day it's another Merlin attraction. Talking of Bollywood, I reckon this is it here, isn't it? There we go, got all this theming. What was pretty cool is the first guests of the day get like a big round of applause, like when they come in. This is like world leaders. There we go, I'm not too sure. Narendra Modi. Yeah, it is. Prime Minister of India since 2014. 2014, there we go. Quite well, it's quite, you know, you learn things, don't you, when you come to somewhere like this. That's the Prime Minister of India. But I would never have known that, you know, if I hadn't have come here. The first female Prime Minister of Pakistan. So we got Benazir Bhutto, is that how we're saying it? I think so. My pronunciation is never great, but I'll always uh, try my best for her. She is, yeah, nice green dress just here. Obviously, this is China over here. I recognise this. Yeah, I do. Yeah, like the Great Wall of China. I'd love to see the Great Wall actually at some point in the future. Hey! Hi everyone. I'm just doing my talk today. Thank you for voting for me, everyone. We'll see you soon. Everyone's clapping for you as well. <laughs> I like the little interactives. Donald Trump just over here. And his wife, Melania. Hi right there, Donald. What's he doing? <laughs> I like how he's concentrating. They do look very realistic, don't they? I quite like this setup that we've got going on here with the aircraft windows the office off to the left. We've got John Travolta just over here. There we go. Flying the aircraft. And you've got all the different fax boards over here at the side. And of course, Queen Elizabeth II just over here too. There's the Queen. And you can sit with her and have a photo as well. Hello, <laughs> what's that on your head? <laughs> The prank zone. That's good. Can I give it a little feel? Yeah. Let's, uh, oh, give it a little stroke. <laughs> That's right. Let's get you sat in that seat there. Yeah. There you Can go. Put the jacket on. Yeah, yeah, why not? Go for it. There we go. <laughs> Outside Buckingham Palace, but this time instead of London, here in Dubai. Hey, you're doing a pretty good job at that. <laughs> That's literally what my granddad used to do every day. <laughs> <laughs> and the core gives them a nice picture of the palace just there too. These cakes look good. Look at those. Oh, they're like sponge. Sponge cake. Hey. Excuse <laughs> oh. me, sir. Please step away. <laughs> oh, the barking. Yeah. <laughs> that scared me then. <laughs> Quite a nice scene. Thank you for choosing to fly Air Jubal. Into that section. Just here now. So this is Cara Delevingne. She's been in quite a few movies. Just over here. You match the uh, decor in here, Charlotte. Then we've got Cara Jenner. This is a good photo op, isn't it? Massive ring. Look at the size of that. All the strobe lights. You got a little seat next to her as well. These spin round. They look like they're gonna. No. <laughs> Maybe not. That's the thing with Madame Tussauds, they did a really good job with the overall kind of set design. Instead of it just being the waxwork model, you know, you get the full kind of props around, which it's is great nice. great when you have photos as well. Yeah, it's really good. It makes it a lot more realistic, like you're actually meeting that celebrity, isn't it? This is a good scene. All the media just here as well. You glow, girl. 
Who have we got just over here? Buda Kassen and Mona Kassen. I've, nev I've never heard of them. It's the same last name. Have you heard of them? I, no, I don't know. Let, let's get some more information. Like, oh, what's it say just down here? Perfume connoisseur. Perfume connoisseur? And, like a beauty makeup artist, beauty blogger. Ah, there you go. Ne never heard of them. It's really good. Well, here they are. We've got the Beckhams just over here. We've heard of those. David and Victoria. Beckham just down here, the Dubai fashion stars. Quite a nice backdrop, there's the Burj Khalifa. Just up there too. Yeah, theming's very good, even the fire exit's themed over there. So we've got Kendall Jenner just over here. Nice big mirror. <laughs> in the way they've laid this out is really good. Like some of the sets in here are a lot more kind of detailed than London actually. Like they're a bit more spread out, you know, instead of packing in too much. The good thing is you can just take your own photos as well. You've got these little interactive experiences, just like up with the cloth just there. Pretty good. Should we continue on around into the next scene? The rooms are a lot like smaller, aren't they? So it makes it a bit more like intricate as you're making your way through, which is good. This is like a catwalk just over here. Ali Saab. Or Saab. You know my pronunciation, it's awful. This is Ali Wintour. It's over here. Oh, there we go. Take a prop and have fun on the catwalk. Wow, I may as well. I'm here. Yeah. And here we go for one night only, Sean Sambro. Hey, welcome to the fashion show. <laughs> That's what they do, don't they? When they come down. Wow, time. you really know how to strut down the catwalk. Thank you. <laughs> Your fashion sense is terrible. <laughs> I do like the Your audio as you come coming down. It's terrible. My fashion sense is terrible. Wow, I don't need you to tell me that. I know that myself already. <laughs> this has oh, look at this. Look. Oh, there's a big Oscar just there. This look is going to change the world of fashion forever. Fantastic. Wow. Really good theming in here. Audrey Hepburn, this is the same model that's actually in Madame Two Swords in London, I believe. Or is it Blackpool? No, I think it could be London. Or your Hepburn. Just there, very nice scene with the chandelier. Just at the top. Some good props in here all the way around. New York taxi with Spider-Man just up there. And a nice backdrop of Dubai as well. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man will always catch you. There is a hero in all of us, that's good. I like how Spider-Man's coming down from the top. So you can kind of stand in there with the taxi. And a picture of Dubai just there as well. Fantastic. Spider-Man. Here's Jackie Chan just over here. <laughs> Got a little cheeky girl on his face just there. And smashing through <laughs> the window just over here is Tom Cruise. I did watch the new Mission Impossible actually on the uh, plane coming over here. The one that was filmed near to where we live in Stony Middleton, like 45 minutes away from where we live in the UK. And uh, yeah, it was good, I enjoyed it. I mean, the setup with the train crash coming off the edge, like that took like weeks to set up and film. And in the movie, it lasted about 20 seconds. Like it shows how much effort goes into these movies once he does all his own stunts as well. But yeah, I did quite enjoy it. Looking very young there. Didn't look that, he looks very, very young, doesn't he, in that one. Good scene though, how he kind of smashed through just there. <laughs> We've got the music now as well, Vin Diesel over here, with another great backdrop of Dubai, and it shows how much the skyline's changed. Look at all the construction going on there. When you come out here now, there's still a lot of work going on. Well, all that area is fully developed now. Great pose that was. I do like this soundtrack. <laughs> and we've got Jennifer Lawrence. Just over here. Nice flames next door. From the Hunger Games. Ah, we did the Hunger Games roller coaster at the start of the trip. Another photo op just here that you can do as well. Which you can send to yourself. Fantastic. This is a good scene over here, isn't it? With the lions. Lothar. They are very realistic. 
That's a good photo. Oh, can you pick up the sword? I bet, it, I bet you can't. Is it fastened down? Oh no, you can. Look at that. Fantastic. Wow, let's have a photo there. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Whoa! Photo opportunity. You be careful with that sword. <laughs> Enjoy us following me to the next room. Can't take it in here, it's the next set, this one. Do they serious faces <laughs> Let's carry on, I'm getting out of here. Into the next scene just here. Yeah, I'm impressed so far, I like how things are spread out with smaller rooms. Oh, she's still coming for me. It's like a horror movie, this is, coming in behind. Yeah, it's definitely been like massive open rooms. Like lots of smaller different scenes, and I quite like that. Another lovely photo opportunity, some projections. Just over there as well, and here's Charlotte, she hasn't killed me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is very pretty. All the flowers, the bakery, baked fresh daily. Oh, sounds good. Telephone box just over there too. More projections, it's a bit quiet in this scene just here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's no it audio. Like a wax figure. Yeah, there's no wax figures in this section at all, unless this is coming soon, because there was a sign around that corner that said, enhancing the experience. I don't know if this is, have they set all the actual scene up, but not brought the wax figures in yet? Yeah. It feels like that to me. Like maybe there's going to be someone over here. Maybe somebody watching this video recognizes like this scene, what it would be for, you know, comment down below. Interested to know? It's nice though, so far. I think it's better having these smaller rooms instead of you, you going in and seeing everything in front of you, you know? You don't know what's coming. Yeah, like you just kind of walk around a bit more mystery, isn't it, as you go around? This is like the Bollywood area by the looks of it. Music's come on. Become a Bollywood dance star. Just here. There's all the information. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name. I don't think I'll be able to do it justice. All your Bollywood stars, and here she is, the Bollywood star herself. I like the music. It's good Bollywood music. I enjoyed the Bollywood Park six years ago. It's a shame that it closed. Obviously, that's been transformed into Real Madrid world. But yeah, it was pretty good, the Bollywood Park. The entertainment was good. It's very kind of catchy, you know, catchy music, isn't it? It's good. But yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. However, it's a very nice scene. Got the rain cloud just there. Yeah, I always see like the Bollywood stuff as a very kind of happy, jolly kind of thing. All the music, all the dancing. There you go. What was that? Do a dance move. Oh, are you? Just gonna go for it. Oh, oh, you do a proper. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, it's to Jay Ho as well. <laughs> Jay Ho. <laughs> I like how you got all the effects on the side. <laughs> That's good. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is good. You got a full like cast on the stage with you. That's good, isn't it? I like that. Da, da. It's funny because it's delayed a little bit. So it looks like Charlotte's massively out of time, but really she's not. That's good, isn't it? Like you're on the stage with a full set. <laughs> J-Ho. J-Ho. You are the reason I breathe. You are the reason I still believe. You are my destiny. J-Ho! That's like a preview of me on a karaoke, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> that was good. There he goes. Woo! So here we've got Karina Kapoor Khan. I don't know if I've said that right or not, but I do try. Always try her best. Born into a family of actors. That's the thing, even if you don't know who some of the people are, they've got the wax figures, you've got all the information, the facts, pause. And yeah, in here they're very well detailed, as you can see. Uh, loads of facts, loads of information. Salman Khan, just over there. This is a nice scene. All the flowers. Looks very pretty, doesn't it? I'm heading around the corner by the looks of it, into a sports section. This nice little transition corridor just here. We've got Conor McGregor first here in the sports section. I recognise the music. This is the same. As Madame Tussauds back in London or Blackpool, I always get the two confusing thing. I'm like, oh, where's it from? Coming like from the sports section there. And that's the thing, you know, they may as well use the audio in the same places. Who have we got here? Sir, Sir Gu Toma? I've, I've never heard of him. I've never heard of him. This is where people are watching, like, have you never heard of him before? But literally, he's an Olympic medal winner by the looks of it. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, bronze medal in the UAE. That's probably why we've not heard of him. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, we know him. <laughs> Charlotte's going for it. 
<laughs> That's a good thing, it's not just the wax works and the photo ops, it's like these interactives that you can do. You did quite well there, Charlotte. <laughs> 51, 52, 10 seconds left. And I'll see if I can beat you then. <laughs> That's it. 65. Right, we'll see how I can do now. Oh, I think he's going to beat me. <laughs> it's very close. <laughs> yeah, you've beaten me. 70. Hey! I got 65. It was a good effort though, Charlotte. It was. Don't want to get too close to Muhammad Ali, but there he is. <laughs> he might punch me. Whoa, Charlotte's going in for it. Ah, oh, she's gone in for the punch. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> hey. Right, you can either go down in the lift or the stairs, but I think we'll take the stairs. Just over here, down to the next part of the attraction. See, so that's the sports section. Then if sports continues downstairs or not, could do. I guess we'll find out. Like the vinyl on the walls, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice experience. I like seeing all these different attractions around the world. Yeah, we've got sports still down here, as we can see. Football. Do we recognise any of these players? That's the question. No. Probably not. Is it? I know that. It's got the same birthday as me. Oh, I see. <laughs> there you go. Right, over here. I'm glad you know. I wouldn't, literally wouldn't have had a clue. You got a goal? Not even a ball there. I said, oh, the goal is not very good, is he? <laughs> oh, he oh, didn't. He jumped the wrong way. Uh, oh, what's he doing? Why is he jumping about like that? Oh, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, into the crowd, into the crowd. Good crowd. <laughs> that's British flag just over here. Lewis Hamilton, that is. <laughs> That's a good one, a little podium there too. We've got some massive weights just over here. Who's this? Amna Al Haddad. That's the thing you learn about different people from around the world when you go into something like this, don't you, you know? And that's the thing, Madame Tussauds always changes their experience depending on what country and what city they are in. Let's make our way down into this section. We continue on. There's the wheel. Not operating, but hopefully will be. Again at some point in the future. Is this like showbiz, you reckon, just here? Yeah. Right, showbiz section. Who do we recognise here then? There's a lot of like TV presenters. Mohammed Asaf, just here. A Palestinian singer. Just over here. We've got Sarah Williams. Just over there. We know who this is over here, don't we? There we go. God, he's tall, isn't he? Look how big he is. Love seeing you in Jungle Cruise. <laughs> oh, you can actually pick up the glasses. That looks nice, that does. Oh, that looks lovely. Nice cocktail. How much is that? Like 30 quid for a cocktail. That looks cool. Oh, I'll have a photo with a cocktail. Why not? <laughs> Making our way into the Oasis Club just here now. So it's having a nice sing song. <laughs> Have a look around here. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Of course, we got Taylor Swift just over here. Dubai Nights at Madame Two Swords. And Charlotte's on the decks just over there. Hey. <laughs> Whenever there's drums, I get excited. Is there any sticks though? Oh, there is sticks. Brilliant. Are we on? Fantastic. Let's set the camera up. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that was pretty cool, isn't it? What's that? 
mixing just there, back in my DJ days. Here we go. Just in Timberlake, just there. This song just came up. <laughs> I got this feeling. feeling. Hey. Oh, I could have played the drums to this. Inside my bones. And we got Miley Cyrus just over there too. DJ. <laughs> Charlotte's got them tunes going till 1 a.m. here in Dubai. And that's the end of our experience as we come here into the gift shop. Oh. I think kind of to give us our photo just here as well with that's the taxi. Nice. Uh, let's start. Fantastic. Let's have a little look at some of the merchandise. Nice selection of key rings and magnets over here. Not just Madame Tussauds ones, but also with Dubai on just there as well and the camel. Lots of other Dubai merch. Lots more merchandise just over here. Oh, the high heel just there with Madame Tussauds on, the guitar. Yeah, a lot of the same merchandise that you find across the mall. I do miss the days of when Madame Tussauds and the Sea Life Centres from Merlin used to actually have the individual attraction name where it is on each one. Now they're all just generic and they say Madame Tussauds on. They're still nice, but I miss it when it used to have like Madame Tussauds London or Dubai and Blackpool and Las Vegas, you know, actually on them. They only could collect things from each one instead of them being a bit more generic. But still, very nice experience that was. I enjoyed it. And we just exited the attraction and we've come to what I was expecting to be the entrance but this is actually the exit and the gift shop. Like I saw photos of the exterior here and that's what I was looking for. I don't have a clue where we've come out, do you? I have no idea yeah. where we are. Like where was the main entrance? It must be around the other side it or must something. Be in that building there. Yeah, possibly so. Ah, yeah, around to the side just there. But yeah, it was a nice experience. I always enjoy a visit to Madame Tussauds and just seeing different Merlin attractions around the world. So we're back outside and that brings us to the end of our visit to Madame Tussauds Dubai. First time visit, opened in 2021. Great to check it out, wasn't it? Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. There was a nice selection of wax figures in there and the theming in there was really good. What I really liked was how the rooms were a lot smaller. Uh, instead of like walking in and seeing 30 wax figures in one massive room, it was like smaller scenes. And I think that's like the new direction they're going down. We've seen them changes in London. I remember back in the past in London, you walk into a massive room like at the start and everything was there revealed. It's better now going through the different rooms different sections splitting things up so there's more uh, going on than just seeing the wax figure you know it's a full experience also there was a lot of interactives in here wasn't there i like when there's loads of interactives like getting little coats on and the glasses that's really nice yeah the catwalk was good <laughs> especially like the drums you've got like the dj set in there there was loads of other photo ops uh, yeah it was a really good attraction it was a little bit on the short it side uh, but i reckon they've got room for expansion they normally build these merlin attractions with expansion in mind it's only a few years old and uh, yeah they've probably thought let's just hold off expanding for now and then Lord add more in there in the future well there we go it's goodbye dubai and abu dhabi here on theme park worldwide and goodbye to this glorious sunshine as well i'm gonna miss it so much <laughs> we have had an incredible time i've loved every second of it you've really enjoyed seeing it out oh, here, i've loved you? it it's a brilliant place to buy it really is and abu dhabi of course we're coming here to the uae there's so many attractions there's so much to see some of the best theme park experiences and the best theming in the world can be found here and uh, like i said in various vlogs the amount of investment going into here is crazy and that set to just continue so we look forward to 
to return in again. And uh, yeah, there's a few bits, of course, that we did miss out on, especially down on Yaz, but we will come back in the future and uh, get those, won't we, Charlotte? 100% we'll be back. And over on the Sandbrook Adventures, our second channel, you can join us for all of our other vlogs. And in fact, there's still quite a few that haven't gone on yet. We upload daily on this channel, but over on the Sandbrook Adventures, it's like every three or four days. Um, so yeah, over there, there's still quite a few more vlogs. We're gonna have more and explore around the beach here, see lots of other different things, uh, the observation points, and uh, so much more can all be seen over on the Sandbrook Adventures. Uh, but as always, thanks for joining Thank us for so another much. amazing adventure. We've got so much planned in 2024. And in fact, we've got another trip just around the corner that we cannot wait to take you on. So stay tuned for that. And as we're moving towards the main theme park season, uh, really, we're only like over, just over a month away from the start of the UK season again now as oh, well. we're gonna be back out at the parks. <laughs> That's why we love doing something like this in January, because the weather is not great back home. A lot of the parks are closed. We love just coming somewhere, taking you along for the adventure. And hopefully just bring that bit of light into your life on an evening when you're watching us at home or wherever you're watching. Um, and just showing you what there is out there and coming along for the full experience. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thanks Thank so much you. for joining us. It means the world to us. And uh, yeah, you can check out the playlist featuring all the different vlogs we've filmed over the past two and a bit weeks here in the United Arab Emirates. We'll see you over on our second channel or back in the UK. But for one final time here from Dubai, that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you back in the UK.